Hello guys, Jamex73 here. And basically this video is going to be an in-depth tank guide. And by in-depth, I mean spec, tips, and what to do in certain situations. So um, let's go ahead and get started with uh, spec first. Alright, so basically, we're this is the tank tree. I'm going to go in depth of every skill here and why it's specced and why it's needed. Alright, so this is what you're going to be starting off with. Um, this is basically all of your passives, passives that you need. Um, your first passive here is uh, you take 25% less damage, which is physical damage, um, and 15% less spell damage. Uh, you also permanently gain 20% more stamina, and your feint is basically your swift strike is uh, increased. Oh, you know your main hand weapon damage is increased by 25%, and your swift strike has a has a 100% chance to pull 100% aggro. Uh, your Guardian Stance, which is uh, decreases all damage received by 50%. And it lasts for 20 seconds. If you have the uh, the Gear Mastery, but I think the Gear Mastery adds like 8 seconds. So, do the maths. With the S. Vigor. Increases all healing effects received, and that includes Courage. And uh, Command. Um, I said command. <laughs> Valid vitality shout, guys. Vitality shout. Uh, basically, this increases your max health. Ankle slash. Uh, this. This basically increases slow. Uh, not it's not slow. Jesus, it's pretty much a AOE attack, which it does damage and it increases. Well, decreases. Uh, I don't know. I keep saying increases. It decreases uh, the uh, person that you attacks. You know, uh, running speed, and it causes slow condition. It decreases it by fifty percent, and it interrupts spell casting. Heavy clash. I'm gonna get into why I chose heavy clash over warpath. Uh, basically, it increases attack power equal to two percent of your armor value. I'll get into what is my armor value later, and you can do the maths if you want. And Warpath, which is a proc that when you parry any attack, you have a 20% chance, which if brought up to rank 5, is a 100% chance to trigger the Warpath effect, and it basically increases your melee and range critical chance and your dodge chance by 10%. Now, why I chose Heavy Clash of Warpath is because I rather have. This is me all the time, 24-7, instead of a proc. It's better to be certain about things than to be relying on a proc. That's just my opinion. Here we have Ankle Slash. This instantly attacks... Oh, wait. Oh, I went, I went through this. But you have Tendon Cutting, which is added to Ankle Slash, which is... Uh, it, it decreases not only running speed... But this increases the de decreases the attack speed of targets by thirty percent. So and it also increases the ankle slash, which is the movement speed, by one hundred percent. Now basically this is almost cutting whoever this hits damage output in half. This is this is really OP and really needed. All right, shield slap. Uh, basically, this is your main damage output, and it also pulls aggro. Head smash. Uh, basically, this gives a 1.5 second stun to your shield slap, and it also increases the damage uh, of your shield slap by 30%. Battle order. It increases all effects and uh, effective radiuses of your shout by uh, 60% so basically vitality shout is increased resistant skin basically this is a 24-7 buff uh, 
When you take any damage, you have a 100% chance to trigger the resistance skin effect, which is you receive 10% less uh, damage for 6 seconds. And this is 20 meters around you, so pretty much everybody in your party gets this effect. Staunch. We're going to get to Rampart first. Uh, this is a buff that you pretty much is not spammable, but almost damn near spammable. And this decreases melee and range damage received by 5%. This skill can be stacked up to three, three times, which is in a total of 15%. Uh, if it's up, use it. If angle slash is up, use it. Got it? Got it. Each stack of rampart skill can also increase block level by 40%. And this is staunch. So, when, when the rampart is up, use it. The rampart skill can also restore 30 morale to you. Decrease morale cost of rampart skill by 100%. Basically, you're building a lot of morale with this. And it doesn't cost you shit. Use it. Counter stance. Uh, basically increases your block chance and any attack you have a hundred percent chance to deal melee damage with your shield to attack attackers. So basically it takes your shield count and does melee damage with it. Nice, right? Oh, and anything in a ten meter radius will automatically locks onto you. So if you think you're losing aggro, pop it. Now, time for some tricks. Basically, as a opener of any boss fight, any fight, I usually use Offensive Shout. And it increases your attack power by 428 and your hit level by 61. And it lasts for 30 seconds. Uh, I use this because if you're using Offensive Shout and counter stance you're doing a lot of damage with your shield and you're you're pretty much giving yourself a head start because you're also going to be um, blocking a lot of damage as well now when your counter stance comes back up which is counter stance is on a one minute cooldown um, I know this because I've just been in and out of tank and I've been playing it since launch but um, counter stance is on a one minute cooldown so basically this is going to be up before offensive uh, shout, which I think is on a two minute cooldown. Yep, exactly what I thought. A two minute. So you guys are like, oh yeah, he knows what he's talking about. Yeah, I don't know what I'm talking about. It's on a two minute cooldown. So basically, you can use counter stance twice before you can use, well, once before you can use offensive. So when a counter stance comes up, use it. Um, now if you're, if you're starting to get to where you're like, hmm, I'm getting a little pretty low. If you think you're going to be taking a lot of damage in a boss phase, a fight, don't use your counter stance. Wait to use your counter stance and then pop your counter stance with your vitality shout and your courage. Why do I say vitality shout and your courage? Courage restores 60% of your maximum health. This increases your maximum health. So basically, Vitality Shouts makes your courage heal you more. You're welcome. So, basically, you're not only dodging, but you're constantly getting not just courage and, and, max, and your health, but more than what you're supposed to be getting with Vitality Shout. You are welcome. Uh, other than that, guys... It's really about it. If you have any questions that I did not answer, leave it in the comments. If it's about a certain boss and how to tank it, I will be doing those videos soon. So just hold your horses. Those will be coming out when I do post the Order and Chaos video of the week. So stay tuned. Like, subscribe, favorite, share. Till next time. Jamie Soon 3 is out.